All right, so kind of piggybacking on the last two videos, so I ended up returning that telly. Um, just a problem. Just a brand new guitar with a lot of problems. It was really nice too. It was kind of a drag, but I when I went there and you know I was like, hey, listen, I'll pay for this. I don't want you know. I, they were like, okay, well, you just got to drop it off. The tech's too busy to talk. And I'm like, man, I just bought a brand new Fender American yesterday that needs a fret, a fret dressing and a new nut. They they cut the E, the high E string too low from the factory, I think. It's like, man, I, and I'm willing to like pay for it. But, you know, the guy doesn't have like two minutes to talk to me. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take this as an omen and I'm going to let this go. Came home, just started playing my old telly. It's fine. So, yeah, I let it go. I realized that I don't want to be involved with that type of vibe, like with that kind of guitar. So I've been on the fence with this whole Helix thing, and I was going to get one. I had uh, I had one set up maybe for tonight. Oh, let me just get these cables good. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's that. Hold on. Ah! Okay, so I said, you know what? Let me just return it, exchange it for the Helix, same price. So I got a Helix floor, and whoa, getting this thing set up was a scooch. Boy, there's some, there's some, <laughs> there's some glitches in the matrix with this thing. I figured it out. Well, I went, I watched a lot of videos. Um, it, it kept crashing in the middle of the firmware update. It's a very common thing, but what I ended up doing was it was like, it, it shipped with like firmware something like three, and it was a jump up to 3.6, and it kept dying. And it, and then, then the Helix won't even work. It, it says, uh, it said something. I can't think of what it said. It said, uh, oh, there was a phrase it used. Uh, it said boot failure enter update mode or something update mode yeah so what i did was i went and i updated to 3.5 and i finally got it to go through and then i went to 3.6 and it went through it took about an hour or so an hour and a half the update is very slow it's very long this must be deep but anyway so here it is so this is a brand new helix floor updated with 3.60.0 firmware this is their helix hx edit i guess and this is it so and then here are their presets i literally just went tongue tongue it works and i figure we'd kind of explore this together and you know it, it makes a little it makes sense it's similar it's a it's like a pedal board kind of like a line just like axe effects or like kemper and uh, yeah, so we'll start here with this first one, which is called Double Something. Double. Double NM. I don't know. Deluxe Review. I don't know what it is. I'll just play a little bit. It's pretty self-explanatory. I guess you can go to the cab mode or whatever. Well, we're just going to run through a few of these presets. And this is just running straight into the Burl B B2 bomber. Left and right.
kind of the first one I like. You know, thoughts right out of the gate. Probably the presets are kind of better on the axe, maybe. I this is nice, though. Yeah, that's nice. And then if you don't save it, so if I turn the drive all the way up, let's test this. And then I go to the next profile and go back to the first one. Doesn't save, so it's, you still got your presets. Here's this Rev Gen Red. Archetype, so you can see to the left there what it is. Oh, it says archetype clean, like here, yeah. Weird, it's kind of bassy. Matchless channel one, matchstick. Here, let me uh, get a little strat on this. Oh my gosh! You know, this is the way I look at it. I'll, I'll mess with it. And if I like it, it's going to be an addition. I can use it for church too. And, or, you know, I mean, I, I kind of like the FM9. Um, and if I don't, then I just, I can, I can just dump it. I have the original box and it's brand new and we'll never, we'll never have left the studio. So here's position two on the Strat. <laughs> Fullerton, Fullerton Bright, Fullerton, is that, I mean, is it Mesa? Yeah, this, I like this, I like this. I like that. So far, I've liked that. There's a few of them that are cool. I mean, obviously, these are just the generic presets, but I did watch a video on the presets, and the guy's like, oh, the new presets in 3.6 are awesome. So this is what they're thinking is awesome. <laughs> This is Fullerton BRT, bright. You can add sag, I guess. Oh yeah, you can feel it, and it's probably stiff. Yeah, I could feel a little bit of that, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's a, some sort of a weird effect, but...
nice with that reverbs. Hack. Let's shut that off. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. I guess amp, right? Is that where you're on? Right. That's nice. This is cool, man. Solo lead OD. Yeah, I'm glad I got rid of that telly. I just gotta play this every day. Plocator, clean? Plocator, is that what that says? Plan? All right, well, there it is. Yeah, it sounds fine, dude. It sounds cool. It'll be fun. Led Zeppelin, I guess? Intro, Interstate Z? That's nice. <laughs> Name of the amp? Oh, that's guitar. Wait. Wait a second. Amp. Oh, it's for you. Okay. <laughs> Interstate Z. <laughs> is that like a, what is those, uh, like a Supra maybe? Or... <laughs> I think this sounds fine. I think it sounds cool. Here's Cali, Texas, Channel One. Oh, is, is that, I wonder if that's like Mesa Boogie. All right, one more. Line six, Litigator. <laughs> okay, that's whatever that is. Who, what? I wonder if this is a high watt. All right, yeah. All right, one more. Come on, let's get one more. Divided duo. That does kind of sound like a divided by 13. It's got that, that top end, like the, the little scratchy distortion. I had an FTR 37 for a while. Okay. That's cool, man. We'll make some noise with it. We keep it, great. If not, great. At least I'm not going to end up with Ajita over that Telecaster. Yeah, there it is. So I guess just, you know, like, here's the delay settings. Very similar to, you know, visually it's a little weird sometimes because, you know, used to Axe effects, it's like knobs. But, you know, I, I see why they're doing this. This is very much... I don't know, this is this isn't like supposed to be visually feeling like an amp. It feels like text or I don't know, it feels very computery. But it sounds good. Here's Fullerton jump. So I guess you can just switch amps around with yeah, you know, whatever, man, right? Cabs, look at all these cabs. Oh, look at that. I can go like that and do a little of this, maybe. Let me see, can I grab it? Oh, look at that. I can move it. Oh, okay, there's your distance. Oh man, position, move it out, mic, oh, it switches them, right, oh, this is cool, man, I'm excited, it'll be fun, new adventure, all right, kids, so, you know, now I have drums to program, enough of all this, but it's down here, it's set up. It's integrated all into the system. I've got it on the patch bay right now. It's into my headlight, amp selector, guitar pickups, whatever, guitar selector, not amp pickup selector. 
and the cables are running and it's all set up with its USB. So it's it. It's like you just come walk in and go click and you got Helix, you got Kemper, you got Axe Effects, and I got four amps. It's way more than I need. But either way, there you go. There you go. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy this.